what is good youtube and welcome back to a brand new video we're back here once again on nba 2k25 here in the modern era we are like a week away from the nba regular season starting and today i wanted to talk about the memphis grizzlies this is a team that completely missed out on the playoffs last year of course with john morant suspension and then injuries it just really killed them last year but they're a team that should definitely be looked at coming into this season and will definitely be on the rise i assume as if all goes well we're going to jump in and rebuild the memphis grizzlies here in nba 2k25 and try to finish the job of getting this team a championship before we get into today's video make sure you guys drop a like on this one and subscribe if you're new to this channel as always greatly appreciate and recording this very late on a uh tuesday night uh but let's get straight into it so for the memphis grizzlies we've got john morant jaron jackson desmond bain Marcus Smart, G.G. Jackson, Vince Williams, Brandon Clark, Santi Aldama. There's a lot to like about this roster, of course. They also drafted Zach Eady, of course, who has been pretty good in preseason from what I've seen. Uh, and I know Jaron Jackson recently just got hurt as well. So what we're going to do to start things off here is we're going to definitely move Jaron Jackson to power forward. I want him playing power forward, and we're going to immediately start Zach Eady. I don't know if that's what they'll do in real life, but that is what I'm going to go ahead and do. So... They do want to put Brandon Clark in there. Maybe they start with that, but I am just going to straight up throw Zach Eady in there and just let him ride. So we'll do that. We'll throw Brandon Clark in this rotation as well. That way he's getting minutes on top of uh, Luke Kennard and Aldama. So we'll bring them down and then we'll give Clark some minutes here off the bench. So something like that is what we'll roll with for season number one. So this can be John Morant, Desmond Bain, Vince Williams, Jaron Jackson, Zach Eady. Now, actually, another thing we could do is actually start Marcus Smart and move Bain to small forward. So that might be another thing we do. They're probably the other move we do that way smart is starting because of course this team traded for marcus smart so might as well get him some minutes we'll go to a we are at 10 minute rotation already so we're gonna leave that the way it is and as i said the only thing is i'm gonna start zach Eadia right away i want zach Eadia to become very good so throwing him in there sounds like the right thing to do and that's gonna keep coming to the rotation in favor of brandon clark clark which i'm totally okay with so uh we'll do something like that and that is what we'll roll with so that will be our rotation for year one now that it's fully fixed so john Morant, smart bane jaron jackson zach Eady. so let's find out let's figure out how this goes with the bench of gg jackson and vince wimp two guys that were able to get a lot of minutes last year because of all the injuries so hopefully they can be great role players and contribute to winning uh basketball let's go ahead and submit to the end of year number one and let's see how we do this video is brought to you by two softwares designed to help you beat the sports books and become a much profitable sports better we're starting on daily grind fantasies optimizers so if you plan out such as price picks underdog or any of these popular dfs apps having a tool like this is insanely clutch to have as you can see you have some early value on nfl popping up ready for thursday night football uh under the 31 pass attempts as you can see every book has this at 30 and a half so clear discrepancy uh and the unders also juice a little bit at uh 30 and a half as well which is why we like that um, and there's also another tool I absolutely love. And again, you got underdog as a tab here. Let's see if we got anything on underdog. It's a bunch of esports stuff. Um, and then we got Joe Mixon under six and a half rushing yards on the board as well. Uh, we got 56 and a half, 56 and a half. So a clear discrepancy there as well. Another software I absolutely love is Oz Jam's positive EV tool. Unfortunately, nothing is popping up at the moment. But what this does, it focuses on traditional sports books such as DraftKings, FanDuel, uh, BetMGM, all of that. But, you know, since we're recording this so late at night, Unfortunately, nothing popping up so um yeah that's just kind of the way it's going right now i guess so unfortunately i can't really show you an example right now but it's basically just compared discrepancies just like you would on uh fantasy apps such as underdog and prize picks so if you make sure if you want to check out either of these tools links down in the description below use code crossables for a percentage of your first month on that let's get back to the video so at the end of year number one we do get john rant on all nba second team but a pretty disappointing season not gonna lie to you now we do end up as a play-in team as a 10 seed which is you know in the realm of possibility it wouldn't like totally shock me if the grizzlies were a play-in team like it's gonna be a stacked western conference but um we were like really under 500 really disappointed i know we threw in a rookie zach ed there right away so that maybe had something to do with it i don't know but overall Pretty disappointing season, I, I would say. So let's just figure out if we can beat the Spurs here to move on to the next round. And we do. So we get New Orleans now, so we'll go ahead and simcast. I know they're going to want us to fix the rotation, but uh, I'm going to leave it the way it is right now. I want Zach Eady to get some experience here, and we might find ourselves in the actual playoffs here if we do beat the Pelicans, which uh, did I speak too soon? No, we beat them by one. So we're moving on. And now I will go to a nine-minute rotation for the playoffs. So we probably should have done that in the plane as well. So that's going to put Clark back in there. So that moves Zach Eady completely out of it, which maybe Zach Eady's the type of guy that would be play off the floor in the playoffs. I guess that remains to be seen. So whatever, I'll roll with that for now. Uh, but we, I mean, I don't think we're going to go very far regardless, but 
So we come around with what we got going on right now, and maybe we get a game or two on the Daver uh, Mavericks. No, we don't. So we get swept. So obviously, a lot of work remains uh, that needs to be done. But we've got the Knicks and the Wolves, the two teams to trade with each other. The two Wolves get the best of them in the finals and win the championship. Okay. Here are your some of your retirements. All right, to the lottery we go. So, of course, we avoided the lottery. We are going to be picking at 15. So, right outside the lottery. So, hopefully, we can get a good player still. Uh, Jenkins is the head coach. Still totally works for me. So, let's just head to draft night. And we'll see who's available to us at 15. So, number one is going to be Ace Bailey to Houston. So, Utah is getting Cooper Flag, which they do. Bronner is going to take Dylan Harper. And we'll figure out what is available to us at number 15. So, at number 15, we got Liam McNeely. We got Drake Powell. We got Carter Bryant. Noah got Colin Murray. So a lot of different good options here. I am going to go ahead and take Noah here. So uh, give me a forward that I can work with for the future out of France. So we'll bring him into Memphis. And then we got uh, Eisen and we got Kwame Evans and Florin. I'll go ahead and take the big here out of Kansas. And that will be our picks in this draft. So walk away with the 75 and a 70 overall. Not too shabby. Uh, we got Jake Laravia, which we will accept. And then qualifying offer, Santi Aldama is a free agent. So for free agency, I don't think we have anybody like too important. So Aldama and Kennard, of course, is you know fairly important. Uh, but I wouldn't mind shaking things up. Team was disappointing. So Marcus Smart, maybe that experiment fails and maybe it just doesn't work out with him. We'll figure that out. Uh, Bain G. Jackson. So Loki, what I think I want to do is I want to be able to move probably Desmond Bain back to shooting guard and then have Gigi Jackson play a pivotal role here. And then Jaron Jackson, Jake LaRavia, Noah, which uh, we'll see what we can do with him. Uh, but I think in theory... Zachity is the backup and we get a different center in the building. Maybe that's what I would rather do to start things off here. That's what we're going to try to do is we're going to see if we can get a big man in this building uh, through trades and see if there's anybody that makes a ton of sense for this Memphis squad. So there's three bigs I'm particularly looking at here from Memphis that are you know somewhat realistic here. So we can go to Portland for Robert Williams, which is fine and all. But the other two, of course, you know, I bring up Brooklyn's Nick Claxton a lot, but he is on a rebuilding team. So in theory, he would maybe become available. So we can look at him. I also don't mind the idea of getting Jared Allen from Cleveland, though. I think that's probably the best bang for our buck. Obviously, Cleveland could eventually move Jared Allen, or sorry, move Mobley to the full-time five. Uh, Jared Allen, I believe, got extended. I assume 2K has it in there, and they don't. Wow. Uh, I mean, they don't even have his extension in 2K? That is wild to me. I don't, man. I guess I shouldn't be surprised, but uh, that's pretty wild. I mean, that was a long time ago where he got extended, if I'm not mistaken, and 2K just doesn't have it in there at all. All right, so I'm I'm fine with giving up Marcus Smart if I need to. Like, I'm definitely fine for that. And then I can give you, like, Florin, who we just drafted. And uh, maybe maybe they want Conchar, who probably they don't want. But Smart and Florin. And then let's say I give you a 2026 first. This could be a valuable first for them. Uh, but I assume with getting Jared Allen will be a better team next year. I could throw Jalen Wells, but that's going to be too much money for them. I'll throw another another first in here. See what they say to that. And they agree. So just like that, we get Jarrett Allen. So Cleveland walks with Marcus Smart. And now we get Jarrett Allen next to Jaron Jackson. Should be a ton of defense and a lot of fun. I'm going to go ahead and do Cleveland a favor. Move Mobley to the full-time five for them. That way, that is figured out for them. So now we have John Morant. And we'll move Desmond Bain back to shooting guard. I do want to see what uh, Gigi Jackson can do in a, a bigger role. So that's why we kind of went that direction. So... Bain, and then G.G. Jackson, Vince Williams, uh, Jaron Jackson, Jake LaRavia, and then Jarrett Allen and Zach Eady. So I can rock with that. Uh, Brandon Clark might be someone you could move as well. Uh, depending, I guess we'll see how much Zach Eady develops first before we do that. Uh, and then free agency, because we do have a little bit of money to spend if we want to. So I guess Luke Kennard, who's been here for a couple years now, we can bring him back to just you know kind of have that familiarity. And then Santi Aldama is still here. Totally forgot about him. So we'll probably bring him back. Uh, and we'll have a little bit of, um, I mean, this gives us extra depth if needed. So Aldama will be back and now we're chilling. All right, let's go to player progression and see how much guys develop, if anything. So biggest one is Zach Eady. He's up to a 77. So that's definitely fine enough for a back of five. He's already the same overall as Brandon Clark. So Clark to me becomes expendable here, um, which I think I'm going to try to move him if possible. So yeah, that's what we'll do. And then Aldama and Jake LaRavia are just kind of chilling here as well. So let's move Clark. For a backup point guard, maybe. I don't know if that's going to like pop up in particular, but I would also just trade him for some draft capital if needed. Uh, Scottington, Achua, Max Drew, Sam Hauser. Terrence Mann is interesting. Bo Don, Haywood I. Smith, Clarkson, Kevin Herter, Mitchell Robinson, which we don't need. Gabe Vincent, not the backup point guard I'm looking for. Ben Simmons is funny, not going to lie, uh, but we'd have to trade a first to do it, and obviously I'm not going to do that. Uh, Jordan Hawkins, Simone. Jamal Shedd is, you know, interesting. He's a young point guard. 
uh, Royce O'Neal, Chris Murray. Uh, maybe we just don't do anything right now. I don't really see anything that I like that made sense. So we just have a little bit of long jam log jams at positions. I don't know if we'll be able to play every single player, unfortunately. I know I want to give Juju Jackson a bigger role this year. Jared Jackson will start next to him, which are Allen at the five with Zach Eady backing him up. But that should, in theory, make us a better team. We were the temp seed last year. We got we didn't win a single game in the playoffs. So hopefully with the addition of Jared Allen and freed up some minutes a little bit um, as we go along here will eventually lead to success for us here in this 2K simulation. So here's the rotation for season number two. We got John Morant, Desmond Main as the backcourt, of course. We got Vince Williams as a small four right now. But I think I'm going to go ahead and just give that nod to Gigi Jackson. Vince will be the sixth man off the bench. We got Noah, who's going to get minutes right away. Zach Eady and Jake LaRavia. So that does leave us out with like Santi Aldama, Kennard, Clark. And yeah, Aldama, Clark, Kennard not getting any minutes, which I feel a little bit bad about. But I'm just going to run a, uh, run a nine rotation this year. And I just want to see how things transpire. Proficiency is a four-star balance as well. I'm um, giving Gigi Jackson a bigger role here and hoping it pays off. So let's see what shot tendencies are looking like. So shot tendencies, John Morantz is a 95, Jared Jackson 86, Jared Allen's is low, which is fine. Baines is an 89, and Gigi Jackson's a 79. So I actually don't mind where any of these are at. Uh, what is the Rooks shot tendency? It's a 60. So yeah, that's fine. I like where we're at. I think this year we should be a playoff team. Like I'd be shocked if we're not. I would love to avoid the plan and just be, and we start off very bad, but Looks like we're turning around a little bit. But yeah, hopefully we end up being a playoff team because this should be a playoff team. There's no reason why this shouldn't be. But right now we're still hovering around 500. So we'll see if that eventually turns around. So at the end of year two, I'm disappointed once again. This time we were a lot better of a team, but we're a playing team. Now we're at the top of the playing order, but still a little disappointing. It is a stacked Western Conference, so it is what it is. But John Morant is on your NBA first team. We had uh, 27 and 10 from him, which is great. All NBA second, All NBA third. Uh, we do get maybe Jaren. No, no Jaren Jackson. Here's our rookie first team and all rookie second team. So did Noah make a team? Uh, no, even with even though, or yeah, he did. There he is. I was about to say. I was about to say we gave him a ton of minutes. How's this man not on our team? Okay. So as I mentioned, we are at the top of the bracket as the seven seed. So. Uh, here are your player stats. You had 27 from John Morant, or top of the playing bracket, I should say. Uh, 19 from Desmond Bain, and 18 from Jaron Jackson, and 14 from Gigi Jackson. So all around, really solid. We get Golden State in the round one of the plan. So, you know, hopefully we're able to just beat them here. We'll find out if that ends up being the case. Now, it looks like there's some minutes I could have adjusted. And it looks like we might have to do that for the next... Ooh, okay. We barely steal at the end, which we do win. All right. Well... They want to start Vince Williams, and Noah is kicked out of the rotation entirely, so maybe they want to kick the rookie out, and Clark is in there for extra minutes, I guess. Sure, why not? So now we get to play the Dallas Mavericks, who just smoked us last year, so we'll see if they do that same thing. Um, we'll find out. Somebody occur around against Dallas this time around, and we're going to get game one. We're up 2-1 to one so far, even series, so we're definitely give them more of a fight than we did last year. So I assume that might put Gigi Jackson in. Yeah, there we go. Gigi Jackson's back in there like I want him to be. And here we are for this game five. So this is a massive game five. We can win this one. That puts us in prime position to win the series. But um, we're right on their tail, but it's looking like they're going to close us out with a victory. And now we're going to even this up in game six in order to even have a chance to get to a game seven. And it's looking like they're going to close us out in six. Wait a minute. Maybe I spoke too soon. Nope, I did not. We're going to lose. So... Two times running to the Dallas Mavericks. It looks like they own us at this very moment, but doesn't say doesn't mean I'll give up. Pacers and Wolves go on to win it all. Just more moves that we can be made, and I definitely think we have enough depth to do something about it. So Cavaliers get number one. So I guess since Cleveland traded Jared Allen, they were a lot worse. So we do have the ability to hire a new head coach, um, although I do like Taylor Jenkins, but I guess if it's not working with him, it's not working with him. So... I'll go after Missoula. It doesn't look like I'll get him, but I'll offer it anyway. Um, again, I don't mind Taylor Jenkins, so I'll just bring him back if nothing else. So, um, wow, he might not even come back to us. So he said he's moving on, I guess. All right, what about, uh, what else can we get? Uh, we have Vanderpool, which is interesting. I've never seen him in the 2K uh, pool before. Oh, we gave him too much money. But I do remember him in Portland, and he was, that was back when we were pretty good. So um, I'll offer him a contract again, see if he wants to actually home be a grizzly coach all right so there we go and he will be our head coach so david vanderpool welcome to memphis my friend and on draft night uh we did trade our pick i believe for jared allen here actually no we have the magic orlando's pick but this is a late pick in this draft so not really sure how much is going to help uh we got aiden we got josiah mosley 
Um, and then honestly, what we could do is we could actually start looking at trades here right now. So I was kind of seeing if we can throw like Clark, uh, Aldama, and maybe this pick and just kind of see what pops up. Like I'm not looking for anything in particular, but we get Jaden Quaintance and Davion Mitchell, which is, you know, fairly interesting. That's a rookie. Uh, Drew Holiday and Peyton Pritchard. Okay. OG, which is pretty wild. I don't even know how I have enough money to absorb that right now. I assume someone's a free agent. Nas Reed and Fred Van Vliet and then Casey Wallace and a first round pick from the Thunder. So um, this one's interesting. Like, sure. Casey Wallace just got extended off Oklahoma City. So they want to give us Casey Wallace for a late first round pick. They get Clark and Aldama. Maybe they need some big man help. I mean, I don't get Case Wallace all that often. And if we can have him back up John Morant, I'm down for it. I don't know why Oklahoma City would be giving him up, but maybe they're going to run into a cap issue soon. So sure, welcome to Memphis, Case and Wallace. That'll be our backup point guard going forward. I'm totally cool with that. So we get a couple second rounders, but um, we can sign the first one. Player options, G.G. Jackson, Zach Eady will accept. And then Jake LaRavia is a free agent. So I don't know if we bring back Jake LaRavia. We'll see. Now, Jaron Jackson is the free agent. Oh, so Jaron Allen and... Oh, yeah. Jaron Allen was an extended. That's right. So, Jared ja our whole front court's a free agent, which we're going to bring them back. So, Jaron Allen, Jaron Jackson, both of them brought back. No brainer. So, that's done. All right. Now, it's time to figure out what else we can do with the roster. So, we got Casey Wallace now as the backup point guard, which I love that improvement for us. And Char, not really ever going to play for us. Just not simply simply not good enough. Uh, Gigi Jackson, Vince Williams. I'm fine with that small forward rotation. And then Noah, of course, is the power forward. So... I think we can comfortably let LaRavia go and then Zach Eady and Jared Allen will still run that center rotation. So I guess the only spot if we really needed someone would be the shooting guard spot, which we can bring back Marcus Smart, uh, funny enough. But I actually like the idea of Keon Ellis. If we can get Keon Ellis here, that would complete the offseason to me. So that would be our offseason. So we bring in, which I'm going to also renounce Jake LaRavia just because I don't think it's right for him to come back here. I think he could go somewhere else to get a different opportunity because Noah clearly is going to take his minutes because I assume Noah's only about to get better here. So, and that assumption was right. It's up to a 79 overall. So 80, Zach Eady, 81, GGG Jackson, 83, Casey Wallace, 84, Desmond Bain, and 92, John Moran. So uh, we'll see how things go this year. We were a playing team once again last year. I'm looking to avoid that altogether. I want to be a top four seed in the Western Conference. Memphis is good enough to do so. We know how good they can be when fully healthy and things all clicking on all cylinders. So let's get that respect in 2K and hope that actually transpires this upcoming season. So at the end of the season, Shea wins MVP. And here are the rest of your awards. So we did avoid the play in this year, but we're the sixth seed this time around. So there's just something not clicking with this roster. And depending on how these playoffs go, I might make a crazy move, which I don't know if it's too crazy, but I might do something about it. So, yeah, 23 from John Morant. You had uh, 18 from Jaron Jackson. Desmond with 18 and G Jackson with 16 and a half. It was really developing for us. Jaron Allen with 11. Case Wallace with 11. And Noah is up to 10. And then 7 from seven, seven and 7 from Zach Eady. And then 5 from Keon Ellis. So, we'll see how these playoffs go. Obviously, I'm looking to win a playoff series if possible. I've built this team up to do something like that. So we got uh, Reed Shepard, Jalen Green, Ace Bailey, Jabari, Jalen Duren. So, and Amon Thompson off the bench. Would not shock me in the slightest if we lost to this team. Very good team in Houston that we're facing here. And we are going to beat... Yeah, it's time to make a crazy move. So we get beaten five. I, I'm just not having... You know, the luck is not there for Memphis right now. And my suspicion, it's Jaron Jackson's fault. And that's, you know, kind of crazy for me to say. But uh, although I think I just won a championship with Jaron Jackson with the Pistons. But I don't know, man. For some reason, sometimes I just... When I have Jaron Jackson my roster, it seems like things just don't go well. I don't know what I want to trade him for in particular. But just maybe getting him off the roster will just result in better results. I don't know. That's my suspicion right now. Uh, I don't really want to trade him. But I'm going to see what pops up. We can get like a better co-star for John Morant. Maybe we do it. So, is there anybody that makes... Like, I'll throw him, Keon Ellis, and a first out there and see if anything crazy pops up. So, Josh getting Kobe White. Um, you know, I'm not looking... So, Kawhi and Zubach, Tower Hero, Hami Hakez. Third overall on Larry Marketing. Trey Young, that doesn't make any sense. Cam Thomas, no thank you. Jamal Murray, nope. So, like, Scotty Barnes. Like, Scotty Barnes is interesting. We could swap with Toronto if we wanted to make, you know, a shake up here. So that is, you know, a move we got to consider. And Scoot and Aiden doesn't make any sense with John Morant. So, and McDaniels is great, uh, nice. But I think we do this one, man. We're going to shake things up. We're going to be sending Jaron Jackson over to Toronto for Scotty Barnes. So 
Um, yeah, hopefully that makes a difference. I don't know if it really will. We get Usman Dang in it as well. So sure, we're just going to make that change. And Jaron Jackson is a Raptor and we got Scotty Barnes in Memphis now. So accept all of these qualifying offers, nothing going on there in free agency. Uh, we got Vince Williams and Gigi Jackson. Gigi Jackson has been great. So he is going to get a fat contract and Vince Williams. I'll bring back still. Uh, although actually we probably don't need to bring back Vince Williams low key because we just brought in Usman Dang. Ushman Dang can take over that role. Uh, actually, no. We could still use... Well, yeah. We'll still sign Vince Williams back. We'll still sign him. So, let's not renounce him. Let's bring him back. So we'll get Vince Williams back as well. So, he will come back on the roster. And that will be what we roll with. So, uh, we'll move one of these guys to small forward. So, uh, Vince Williams and small forward. Noah Ushman Dang. All right. So, let's see which one would go up. So, Ushman Dang is up to an 81 at small forward and Noah is up nothing. I mean, Noah's like 6'10". So we'll do that. And then can Vince Williams get away with at the shooting guard spot? He goes down, but yeah, I'm going to do that. So Vince Williams is going to be the shooting guard. I can shooting guard. Ujman Dang. So that is what we'll roll with. So that's going to be our rotation. Let's see what player progression is looking like this year. I assume Noah's about to go up even more. So we got uh, 86 Noah. I didn't actually expect him to develop that much. So maybe we didn't even need to get, you know, Barnes in the building, but the it doesn't hurt to have Barnes, of course, so I'm not complaining. And then Jarrett Allen's 85 still. So, yeah, we're about to go into year four. Now, I said it last year, but I'm going to say it again, man. We need better results. It just hasn't been there for us. Trading Jaron Jacks, I don't know if that's going to solve all of our problems, but for some reason, I have a sneaky suspicion the simulation is going to go a little bit better without him. I don't know why. It's just a suspicion I have. I could be wrong. Let's we'll see how season number four goes. So John Morant wins MVP this year. So I was a little bit right. The suspicion was correct. John Morant, or since we send out Jaron Jackson, things went a little bit better. Now, we didn't get like the first seed or anything, but we're top three seed in the West. So uh, we do draw San Antonio in round one, which obviously is never fun to play with Webb and Yama. But you had 29 from John Morant, 21 from Bain, 17 from Gigi Jackson, 16 from Barnes, and 12 and 6 from Noah. So... We'll go ahead and see how this goes. I mean, maybe in theory, we should get Noah in the starting five with what we got going on right now, but I don't mind him off the bench for now, just to kind of see if that, you know, works out this year. Gigi Jackson's having a, you know, averaging 17 on 40% shooting from three. So really solid stuff from him. So nothing to complain about. San Antonio in round one, though. I don't love it. We get uh, Mikael Brown, Stefan Castle, Keldon, Jeremy Soan, Women, Yama, Igor, and Dem Vassell. So here we go. Hopefully we don't lose in round one. I'm looking to finally win a series here, but it is the Spurs and Wimby. So here goes nothing. And we got an even series here so far. So let's see if we can win game five in SimCast and go to a game six with an advantage. Close game so far. We hang on to the lead and we're going to lose game five. Of course we do. All right. Now it's time for game six. This is in San Antonio. Let's see if we can even the series up to force a game seven and it is going to be not happening. So, oh wait, oh wow. We barely just, I thought we were done for. We forced a game seven, game seven in Memphis to see if we can close them out here to get to round two finally in this video. It's a close one here. I was ready to give up on that, but it's looking good right now. And we are gonna be this person seven. Wow, I thought we were done for in game six there, but we do move on we get the Portland Trailblazers round two. So we we'll have. Uh, Scoot and Sharp, who have fully developed. They got Denny Avdia, Klingon starting to power forward. They got Hugo off the bench, Anthony Simons, Robert Williams. So damn good team in Portland, of course. This is at the point where everyone's just developing like crazy. But I you know, still like the roster we have going for us as well. But let's somebody crowd against Portland and see if we can get the advantage on them. They're up 2-1, to one, and they're going to go up 3-1 to one on us. So, uh, man, uh, let's see if we can potentially even this series up somehow by winning two straight. And I don't think that's going to be the case. So I'm going to give this one last final go here. Uh, hopefully we can bring a championship, man. I just feel like my luck lately has not been there for me in 2K. Cleveland goes on, or sorry, Portland, the team we lost to, goes on to win it all. So I think that's going to introduce Noah in the starting five. So I, you know, hate to bench you, Jackson, but clearly Noah is, you know, good enough to start. And that's just going to be what we do this upcoming season. So let's go to draft night or rookie signing rather and we'll you know i we didn't have a draft pick anyway player options we got noah we got anderson which i'm not really worried about anderson we got zach Eady, who i will resign and then free agency john Morant, of course that's a no-brainer we got to bring him back and then zach Eady will bring back as well so those guys will be taken care of Usman dang looks to be a free agent as well um which i'll go ahead and bring his services back if i can but yeah our team is a lot of money right now so 
Uh, Noah, a small forward, goes down, but uh, he's 6'10". So maybe we move Barnes a small forward, which would be kind of interesting. So that's what we'll do, I guess. That way, Noah's starting this year. Then we can move Ujman Dang back to power forward. I guess that's what we're going to have to do. So he goes back to in 78 by doing that, but that's what we'll do. So that is going to be the, you know, we're going to run it back pretty much. We're putting a new guy in the starting five, though, and hope that changes things for us. The 90 overall, 91. Uh, you got 83 Desmond Bain and 79 Ujman Dang who went down, of course. But we'll see how this season goes. We'll figure it out in year five, final season, regardless of what happens. We'll see if we can go on a run to the conference finals or, you know, obviously go win a championship is the most ideal thing because we, we're about to be in the final season. So another MVP award for John Morant. If nothing else, we got John Morant two MVPs in a row because despite having a pretty damn good roster, it only results in the fifth seed in the West. So uh not really feeling good about my chances here of winning a championship not gonna even lie to you but uh here were your player stats i feel like we have a damn good roster here in memphis right now but we'll see if it results in a championship we get houston round one so houston's got reed shepherd jalen green ace bailey i mean we played them earlier and they and look i mean just look at the bench they got going on right now 87 overall is their lowest bench piece bro like are we serious right now yeah there's no way win this series right and Dude, I can't compete, man. I can't compete, dude. I, I, I'm too tired for this shit. I'm ending it. I don't care. Five seasons, failure after failure after failure. I'll see y'all the next one. This is Crash Bulls. I'm saying peace. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you click here to watch another video that I know you'll love.